hello friends welcome back to the active directory automation series and this video we will modify the active directory users as you see in our last video we created a new active directory user called Rajiv and now we will modify this user so for modification I already write a function here and I will go through line by line to explain you what's going on here and the function as a start with div and the name is manage user here I provide two parameters one is username and one is mode so the username is the username which you want to modify and the mode is what you want to do with that so mode I set few uh, it's just a string which is querying do you want to disable or enable or delete so right now this user is already activated it's already enabled and let's just try to disable that so if you want to disable this user let's just go and use manage user provide the username and username is Rajiv and then mode you just say disable okay so once it goes to the if the mode equals to disable then we are running the ds mode command and ds mode is directory services which is uh, using uh, ds modification directory services modification and we are modifying user providing the username and the parameter that we want to change we want to disable yes and run this and also we providing a distinguished name dn and the dn contain your cn your username and the organize, uh, user organizational unit and remember we created a global variable here here right if you haven't seen this video just go back and see this video because that is very important and that's we are using in our all python commands inside all our functions so that's why user organization units and username and when we are building a cn and then go and create run this command and once we run this there is no error in client side let's just refresh the ad server there is nothing there i think it's not disabled let's just see what's going on ds mode we see some error here let's just run it again okay and again we see some error so let's just debug what's going on where we are let okay so i got it so the thing is once you declare the dn the distinguished name and you can provide when you are making a command with the dn make sure it should be inside double quotes otherwise you will see some errors like this okay so here if you see that drm uh, rem, uh, that is for remove i use already but here i forgot so i just edit this and run ad client and as you can see here ds modification is now return succeed before that it was showing the error code blah 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 okay let's just see go and refresh that and here you can see that user is disabled already okay now let's just go and enable that okay run this no error perfect everything fine and you can see that this is our dn which we created let's just remove this print let's just refresh that and you say that our user is now enabled so enable disable like easily you can do and also let's just try and delete delete the user i don't want this user in my active directory server so let's just run okay and refresh here we go so with that we can easily modify our active directory user we can change their settings we can remove them okay so in my next video i will show you how you can create groups inside active directory okay let's go